Hi guys, let's now discuss the solution of question number 60 of set D physics. Here in this particular question, we've been given a mass of 10 raised to the power minus 2 kg and this mass is experiencing a frictional force of minus kV square. We've also been given that its initial speed is 10 meter per second and at the same time we've been given that after 10 seconds, so after T is equal to 10 seconds, its energy is equal to 1 by 8 m v naught square. So now if we proceed ahead with this particular question, we can say that this energy will actually be the kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy will be half m v f square, which will be the final velocity of this object, which is equal to 1 by 8 m v naught square. If we consider and cancel these values, then you'll see that this v f square will come out to be equal to v naught square by 4 and thus we can say that this vf is equal to v naught by 2. So we have to consider the value of k for which we have to find the value of k here where the initial velocity has been given to us as 10 meter per second and the final velocity is v naught by 2 or we can say 10 by 2 which is 5 meter per second. Now based on this question we can say that f is equal to minus kv square and at the same time this f is actually equal to ma which is equal to minus kv square. Now this a is actually dv by dt so I can say m into dv by dt is equal to minus kv square. Now if we rearrange these terms we can we will get dv upon v square which will be equal to minus k by m into dt. Here you can see that if we integrate both these sides then the integration or upon integrating this expression will look like integration of dv upon v square and this integration will be from v naught to v naught by 2 because well initially the velocity was 10 meter per second and finally it was v naught by 2 or we can say 5 meter per second. We can also substitute the values of v naught and v naught by 2 here directly and this particular value will be equal to minus k by m integration dt and the time interval which we are talking about is from 0 to 10. So now here if we solve this particular equation we are going to get dv upon v square so I can say this will be equal to minus 1 by v and the limit will go from v naught that is 10 to 5 which will be equal to minus k by m into t where the limits will go from 0 to 10. We can cancel this minus with this minus and we will get 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10 is equal to k by m into 10. Now since we have to find the value of k here and we already know the value of this mass m, we can say that this will further be simplified to 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10 which will give us 1 by 10 which is equal to k upon 10 raised to the power minus 2 into 10 and upon simplification it will become k into 10 raised to the power 3 because well 10 raised to the power minus 2 is actually 10 raised to the power 2 only that is in the it will go in the numerator and this 10 and this 10 raised to the power 2 will become 10 raised to the power 3 and this will be equal to 1 upon 10. Upon simplification we are going to get the value of k as 1 upon 10 raised to the power 4 and thus we can say that the value of k that we are looking for is 10 raised to the power minus 4. So our k is 10 raised to the power minus 4.